In this video, I've got some changes to the layout room I want to show you, as well as the next project on the go. Stay tuned, more coming up in this layout update. Okay guys, welcome back to the channel and another layout update. Uh, lots going on. Uh, as you can see, there's some changes to the background here. Um, did a subtle change. <laughs> Built a little bit of bench work here. This is uh, sort of my next project on the go, which is going to be an HO scale uh, shelf layout. Uh, just for some switching and some operating, uh, operating fun. Uh, I got a little bit of HO stuff on the go. Uh, weathering some cars up. Uh, some locomotives that I want to pick up so looking forward to that it is going to be a DCC only layout uh, as opposed to my end scale which is uh, operational for both um, this is just sort of to scratch the operational HO scale itch so until I can get on to bigger and better things it's uh, somewhere for me to practice my skill set related to HO scale but uh, definitely not losing focus on the end scale uh, I'm going to take you guys over and show you the current progress that I've got on the layout uh, it's been a busy couple weeks, actually. A lot of progress. Went on a real uh, kit building binge, I guess you could say, uh, for lack of a better term. And uh, it's really paid dividends. So the layout is really starting to take shape. And uh, now I can sort of, now that I have an idea where the structures are going, I can start laying in my roads uh, and things of that nature. So uh, I'm going to take you on over, show you what's going on. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, for all of you that have subscribed, thank you so much. Appreciate the support. For those of you who haven't, hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon let you know when I got new content up and going. Uh, I try not to uh, flog too much stuff, but, uh, you know, like to have a steady stream of content uh, and hoping to have some more stuff coming up here in the future. So without further ado, let's jump on over, have a look at the layout, see what I've done. All right, guys. So as you can see here, a uh, few subtle changes to this portion of the layout. Uh, this is sort of into the detail stage. Um, you know, got some some major stuff uh, on the other side to get to. This side's, uh, I won't say nearing completion, but closer to completion than the other. Uh, went ahead and built the Walters barn kit. Weathered that up. And we'll get the uh, gray barn board effect coming through. Uh, so more work to do on that still, a little more weathering, obviously the silo needs to be painted. Uh, but that's sort of the major change on this side of the layout at this point. Uh, this scene with the elevator as well as the homestead scene I'm quite pleased with. Added a few more vehicles courtesy of my dad. And then we come to the next major change. So this is the start of a road. So this will be a paved two lane road. And it is actually going to continue on over this way, over towards that tower is not permanent. I'm not sure if I'm going to integrate it or not. It was just something kind of neat, uh, kind of representative of nearing Fargo, I guess. Uh, although its placement, you know, is obviously not accurate, but a uh, neat little structure that uh, Dad kit bashed up. Coming along, this portion is still undecided. I'm really torn on my sort of Blenheim City Center. Uh, whether or not that's what I want to do and where I want to put it. Um, you know, don't really want to cram it, but run out of options here. Got the service center kit built. That's another new kit that I accomplished. Again, you can see the outline here. That road is going to continue on through here and then over and then access to the, uh, the blend station and uh, elevator area on the south side of the tracks. That's the little co-op hut from Walters. Got some more weathering and painting to do on that, but that was another kit that I assembled uh, and got it banged out pretty quick. Fun little kits, nothing, uh, nothing too crazy, not overly, uh, overly difficult. Good way to kill an hour or so. Uh, so painting and weathering on that, and then obviously detail pieces to come, and then sort of the major change. Uh, yes, I am running foreign power today. A little Milwaukee road action. Uh, this is actually a uh, mechanism my dad gave me. It's a DCC. He does not do DCCs, so uh, I made it like a bandit and was able to upgrade uh, one of my uh, Jeep 9s to DCC, so that was cool. Moving over, obviously, uh, for those of you who haven't been following along, I'm not sure if I posted a picture of this, but this is sort of my relief on the backdrop, background, just to get... Uh, get some definition and height out of the back and then this is sort of the major change here so this is 
representative of Warwick's, the Blenheim engine shed. Uh, and then this doesn't really have any real place in the prototype. Um, it was supposed to be representative of Hill, uh, the Hill they call it, uh, which was a uh, spur that went up, uh, or not even a spur, a siding really, that went up uh, to Talbot Trail in Blenheim. Uh, so that's sort of representative of this. Uh, kit bashes this structure up a little bit, just to have um, two loading areas on either side of the elevator. Uh, this was supposed to be representative of the onion or um, produce plant that was there at one time. Uh, I forget the name of it now. I do have it written down. Uh, but anyways, just wanted to fill out. It's a very industrial, agri food, busy area. So I wanted to make that sort of come to life by mimicking what was there. So I've built up the structures in such a way as to sort of mimic, or mimic the, uh, the flow of traffic that goes on there. It's a very busy spot. Uh, very pleased with the engine shed, machine shop. And then this, you'll recognize this. This was on the layout originally, and my dad actually took it and bashed her up to make, uh, make it as close to Warwick's as he could get. And I think he did a great job. Uh, I'll throw a still photograph of, of this particular scene right here up at the end of the video just to show you. But uh, he weathered that up, painted it up, added all kinds of great detail bits, the loading chutes. Custom built the uh, structures on top of the elevator. Excuse the camera work here, guys. I'm just going to come around the side and then also detailed this up. So very pleased with that. Can't thank him enough. Uh, this is sort of his, uh, one of his contributions to the layout for sure. And it's great. So just to give you a sense of this scene, this is obviously going to be very busy with truck traffic uh, and things of that nature. Just basically modeling uh, fertilizer and uh, grain dealers, basically seed, seed co-ops. And then the rear view of the elevator. So got a building that I sort of stitched into the background here as a flat still more work to do on the paint tidy up the seams and whatnot but uh, pretty happy that that came up and then this is going to be scenic with the water tower but uh, that is the current progress on the layout guys uh, pretty happy with how it's coming together it's starting to actually look kind of like a town here uh, which is great um, I'm not a fan of the condensed version of my of my uptown uh, but i'm not really sure on what to do here uh just because space is obviously working against me i've tried to put so much into the yard and then the the co-ops and stuff that uh to put it in here just wouldn't be appropriate i don't think uh i'd like to put a couple more industrial buildings in here and have sort of a road coming down here uh to service this area uh, a lot of this is uh, in the prototype is actually pull through traffic so you can get from one end to the other uh, following along the tracks and I think that's important to mimic so this is all strictly going to be sort of industrial rail and uh, co-op related material which leaves me sort of this space as well as this space uh, so I had toyed with the idea of bringing these buildings over here uh, that that may still come to pass but uh, we'll see I keep playing with it and, and placing them to see what I'm comfortable with but uh, I was kind of hoping to put a bit of a tree break in here uh, just for the simple fact of wanting to break up the transition so you kind of lose sight of the train, uh, you know, for, for a little bit at least. Um, you know, marginally achieved that over in this corner when he goes behind the elevator in that clump of trees. But I'd kind of like a break somewhere, uh, even though it's not exactly prototypical. Uh, it would be nice just for that transition. Um, treat this junction or, or Blenheim Junction proper as sort of the break in the scene, transitioning from uh, Fargo into Blenheim. Uh, so that's what I think I will end up doing there. Get some really tall growth going in there. Um, and then whether or not those buildings end up staying remains to be seen. But that's it, guys. That's all I've got for you today. Uh, I'm going to start weathering this up. We'll have another layered update shortly, as well as some additional content on the channel. Uh, sort of a new... I don't want to call it a show, I'm not really sure what you'd call it, but definitely uh, stay tuned. Hopefully it's something you guys enjoy, and as always, thanks for stopping by. Cheers. Happy model railroading, guys. I nearly forgot. As a bonus, this may or may not be of interest. Obviously, this is going to be HO scale content for the channel, but this is 
the bench work that I've constructed for a small HO scale switching layout. And you can see some of the materials up here ready to go up here. So I want to close this in, cover this, cover this up. And uh, obviously not much space there for any uh, larger buildings. This side here, definitely, definitely more. So I'm going to work with something here. But uh, looking forward to this. Been taking a lot of inspiration from uh, Boomer Dioramas. I uh, really like the work that he's doing. Um, and HO scale just affords that level of detail um, in such a way that I really think it lends itself to, to the diorama scene, obviously. So that's what I want to get into. I want to start. Uh, the idea behind this was to make it uh, removable easily. So I can actually literally take out four screws and this whole thing lifts right. Well, not four, eight screws. And it lifts right off. And I'll be able to take it to shows and events and uh, whatever else. So stay tuned to that. More coming up, more content. Uh, I will make a playlist separate, keep the HO stuff separate from the N-Scale stuff. But uh, that's just a little sneak peek at that, guys. And then, of course, just working on uh, working on some weather in here on some of these freight cars. So that might give you a little hint as to the era that I'm going for, similar to what the plan is for uh, my full sized HO layout one day. Uh, so thanks for tuning in guys. Cheers. Take care.